welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video. Today I am bringing you all a Q&A because I've not actually filmed one of these videos in a while and I thought I would do an updated one because why not because I did ask you guys to leave some questions on the YouTube community page and I did get quite a few so I am going to answer all the videos all the videos all the questions in today's video because a few of them are kind of juicy some of them are just kind of you want to know stuff about me or about my job and other stuff like that but before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up it would be nice to get to a like goal of around shall we say 20 30 likes if we can get it up to 30 i'll be happy but if we can only get up to 20 i'll still be happy i'm not gonna cry over over it you know what i mean um also leave a comment and subscribe because we are nearly on the road to 4,000 subscribers we are under 90 subscribers i believe now so please keep subscribing to my channel because it would mean the world without further ado let's go in the video as you guys can see behind me i have my cute fairy lights i got this from primark in manchester and they were three pounds how pretty are they yeah, they're three different colours, so like a white, a baby pink and like a dark pink and they're a lovely warm kind of bulb colour, honestly they are so pretty and I'm definitely going to have to switch them on every time I film a video on my bed now because oh my god they are so pretty, just take a moment because Primark are absolutely winning the life with all like the home stuff and fairy lights and whatever else but yeah I love them so much, anyway let's roll on to the questions, it literally it be like when I was getting ready, I could not be bothered to put foundation on my face because I feel as if it makes a breakout at the moment. So if you can see like a few spots and stuff on my face, I'm just having a break from foundation. First question, which is what everybody seems to be asking me at the moment, I don't know why, but I mean, I suppose people are interested and maybe want it to happen, is when are you and Scott going to move out? It means Scott have spoke about this a few times. Obviously, we're both 20 years old now, he is 9 months older than me, so in January he'll be turning 21. For me, I would love to move out, but it may be in two years, well, in one to two years time. I think a good age is maybe 21, 22, maybe 23, um, but if there's no rush, I still have a lot of family members who are in the mid-twenties who still live at home you know moving out is expensive and if it was being both self-employed as well it makes it even harder because we have to save like three years worth of like receipts and stuff and all the finance stuff you know, that comes with being self-employed the joys um so it'll make it even harder for us but if we have spoke about this a few times and if we live in different areas i live in carlisle and he lives in Maryport in West Cumbria, which is actually 45 minutes away from me. So it's not a long, long way, but it's also going to be a bit awkward if he would rather live where he lives and I would rather stay here. But to be honest, we have spoke about it and we would like to live in Carlisle, but it's more expensive compared to out of Carlisle areas. So we'll have to see, but there's no rush. He was still very young. We've only been going out for like a year and a half almost, you know, like, there's still people who live at home in their 20s, you know, yeah, it's going to take time, of course we can have a look and stuff, but I don't I think it'll be for like a couple of years, it just depends. The next question is, which is kind of linked to this, is it hard being self-employed? For me, it being self-employed, because I am like a self-employed makeup artist, a beauty therapist and I rent a room in a salon two days it's it's been hard to gain clients it could have only started out and I still working at my other job as well um I'm not really stressing out and stuff it's not as if being self-employed is my only job and like I've got to like bring a lot of clients and, and stuff but I will say the hardest part is probably trying to bring clients in because Obviously starting, uh, coming straight from college and going straight into the beauty industry, you obviously need to build your client base up and it can be really hard but it is slowly building up, so it's probably the hardest part of being self-employed for me anyway. I've not done any, I've not actually done any of my finances yet because 
I, like I've only been self-employed since like September, October I think so I'm still kind of waiting to do all the more complicated stuff which I'm really looking forward to as you can tell by my face but yeah it, it, being self-employed obviously does have its pros and cons it with a lot of things it has its good points and bad points the best thing about it is probably you can set your own working hours you can have as many breaks as you like you kind of get more money in a way you're not always but you can kind like every day it can be payday whereas in my other job I get paid four weekly so I've kind of got to wait for the money and it's a bit of a pain you know but yeah it can be hard but it's also very rewarding as well 100% which youtubers have you had beef with in the past but to be honest I don't even know if I've ever had any drama beef with youtubers I don't I'm trying to think <sighs> to be honest I keep myself to myself I'm a very kind and private person um, and the last thing I would ever want to do is cause arguments with people because what is the point <laughs> like I'd rather just stay out with stuff like that um, yeah I don't think I don't think I have ever had a beef because to be quite honest with you all I cannot be bothered the next question is what is the best thing about doing YouTube I would say the best thing about doing YouTube is you can be very creative with your content and I also love how when you upload a video and people comment nice things like they said oh I've enjoyed your video please film more of these type of videos because I really enjoy them I like having the support of people because it kind of motivates you to do it more because if nobody was coming on your videos it kind of make you feel as if nobody's enjoying them because you've not had the feedback basically the comments on youtube videos is like feedback in a way so you've got to kind of take on board what people say obviously like if it's like a hate comment you just ignore it and delete it you know it's pretty easy you don't take much notice of them ones but yeah i would say having the support of people is really nice and that's probably my favourite thing about being on YouTube yeah I'll say that I do have a lot of lovely subscribers so I would like to be friends with a lot of you guys because a lot of you seem really nice friendly people if what is the best purchase you have ever made if I had to say a kind of smaller purchase I would say it's gonna sound so sad but it is my I'm trying to think here Home Bargains the gingerbread candle it just is absolutely insane it was 2 99 but honestly it's the best £2.99 I've ever spent it just smells divine and if you love a gingerbread scent it's so good so it's like it's my favourite small purchase however if you're speaking bigger I mean it's still not expensive because it isn't the real deal type of thing but I would say my Louis Vuitton Speedy Damien handbag. Ever since I was kind of young, I've always liked the look of the Speedy handbags, and obviously they are a lot of money. If I could justify spending eight hundred pounds on the bag, I would. But when I got off the HG, it's just exactly the same. It's not made out of leather, and it's probably one of the best purchases I've ever made because it's just like the type of handbag where you can chuck everything into it, and like you don't we really have to worry about anything in there um, and it's just like a good size it's just an overall really good handbag and it also has like a strap on it as well so like if you want to put it on your shoulder it's quite handy for that as well so that's probably yeah, my two favourite purchases they're not the most interesting purchases in the world but it's yeah, the small things in life you know yeah, that's all that makes me happy the next one is favourite candle scent at the moment yeah, well, I've already spoke about this one. The Home Bargains Wickford and Co. Gingerbread Candle smells absolutely divine. It's absolutely amazing. And for two ninety nine, it should be worth more to be honest because yeah, the scent it can last up for like a day. If I've been burning this on a night time and then blowing this out before I go to sleep, when I wake up in the morning, I can still smell the scent. It's that strong but so nice. I've literally bought a new candle today which is my new favourite scent it is a DW Home Relaxed Candle, a Lavender and Calamile and 
this is one to be used in in my beauty room at the salon for like a relaxing kind of scent and stuff for facials and this was $7.99 from TK Maxx this just smells of pure relaxation it literally wants to send you to sleep it is that a nice smelling it's insane the TK Maxx is, is really good for candles so if you're thinking of having a small kind of different scents to spruce up your house or room or wherever TK Maxx is the place to go and the packaging of these candles are so nice I absolutely love the wooden lids it's so satisfying but this candle it, it literally just wants to send you to sleep it's that nice another question is how to deal with fake people I've had to deal with cat I won't exactly say well I'll probably say fake friends um, the people who are not the true friends either I would say you kind of slowly distance yourself but not make it obvious but kind of distance yourself it can be really hard sometimes but I just kind of distance yourself a bit and then you just try not to get in touch with them because if they're like fake to you and not a nice person you don't you want to spend the rest of your life being like you're pretending to be friends with them in a way so they distance yourself they try and make some new friends spend time with other people and before you know it you won't even see them ever again so it's just like that you just kind of got to take time for yourself um, and do what is best for you which can be really hard you know it, it's not an easy thing to do but honestly it's so worth it you wish you had more subscribers on YouTube but to be honest I definitely think I would I like to have more subscribers on YouTube not because I want to see the number on my channel but I would I like to kind of have a more kind of support shown on, in a way and kind of more people commenting and interacting because sometimes my channel can be pretty dead obviously I do have a small channel so I don't have a lot of people watching my videos all the time so it would be nice to kind of have more support Sean, this isn't me looking for attention or, or people to comment nice things but as I said earlier like when people show support it makes you more motivated to kind of film and that is why I'd like to get something out of this kind of like every time I upload a video maybe more comments or like more people kind of subscribing it's not as if I wish I had like 50,000 subscribers I mean it would be nice I'll hopefully be able to build myself up to that stage soon in life but I'm not obsessed about like gaining loads of subscribers because like it'll just make you kind of worry about it and not think and just like just be on your mind all the time. Do you wear makeup every day? Definitely not. I probably wear a full face of makeup two to three times a week depending. When I go to work I barely put anything on. I usually put a bit of mascara on and that's me I've gone to work. I do look some state sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I usually wear makeup for YouTube videos because you obviously want to look your best on social media. There's nothing wrong with not putting makeup on in your videos. However, with me having oily skin and stuff sometimes, I've kind of got to even out my skin tone and stuff and the dark circles onto my eyes. I put a bit of concealer on. But yeah, I don't wear makeup every day because I could not be honest and yeah, that would be very expensive having to buy new foundation and stuff like it's just too much hassle final question is do you make a lot of money on youtube and this is a question that people are probably always wanting to know because it's kind of like a very it's not secretive but there's no kind of like number on how much somebody can make because somebody could have like 50,000 subscribers and get 30,000 views and then to get like more money but if I was to say for every 1,000 views you got like it can really depend because there's something called RPM which is how much you'd earn per 1,000 views and mine has been currently £8 so per 1,000 views I've been getting like £8 sometimes it can go down to £6, £5 it can go up even to £10 or maybe more it really depends on on how 
that your channel is doing and how much advertisers are going to pay. I hope this makes sense, but on, on average I make around £8 per 1000 views. I don't make a lot on YouTube, however, some of the videos where I've been getting like 50,000 views obviously it has been a good amount of money for what it is. 8 times 10,000 say 80 and times that by 5 that is, I don't even know, £500. It's a, it is a good paid thing but obviously YouTube isn't always about the money but not that a lot of YouTubers here are talking about money on YouTube. I think it's just because like some YouTubers earn too much I think sometimes but yeah I'd say if the amount of views I'm getting I'm getting paid fairly decently I'd say um, it just depends on how well your video does and how much advertisers are paying for each video because obviously like your RPM could be different on each video as well so yeah I hope that kind of makes sense and hopefully like I've not exposed how much I make on YouTube but you know it's fine but anyway guys if you guys have enjoyed uh, this little Q&A video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below if you'd like to see any more kind of videos from me or you have any video suggestions please make sure to leave them down below and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video bye everybody